But when you have a photograph stored in the cloud, the cloud has to constantly put energy in to keep that photograph in existence because it only exists in the circuits of the uh, the, ser the central uh, cloud server. It doesn't exist on paper as it used to do in, in the uh, old days. Goodness me, I remember these, these days, and they weren't all that long ago. Um, where, of course, if you've got a piece of paper in a drawer, you don't need to maintain it because it's on paper, it's maintaining its, uh, itself. Uh, and similarly, to get at anything that's on the cloud, uh, we need to access the cloud that involves energy. It's really, I still find it quite mind boggling when we think of the amount of energy that's flowing all around us. Because, say, when we're using the internet, we can immediately on our phones get in touch with literally billions of bits of information. Uh, that takes an enormous amount of, of energy. So it's not just a matter of us not, to, uh, of when we're actively using these things that we don't need. They do need maintenance when we're not actually using them at all. It's funny because this is something we don't really talk about a lot when we're discussing things like, you know, don't leave your lights on if you don't need to, certainly don't put your heating on if it's not necessary, especially with rising gas prices. A lot of activism is done online, and yet we never talk about actually the environmental impact that dot com has or manufacturers of mobile phones. Do you think it's about time we actually started having a conversation about that so people could learn to be perhaps just a little bit more pragmatic and frugal about their usage? Yes, I, 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 I certainly do think that. And to be fair, this report, which has just been published, is aiming to do precisely that, to get this more into the public uh, realm. Because it's a relatively cost-free issue. You know, just emptying our phones of, however, of half of the photograph, the ones that we're never going to look at again, maybe that we just took in a street because we saw something vaguely interesting and we're no longer vaguely interested in it. It's not a, a big imposition on us, but the energy savings can be really quite uh, significant. And in our, you know, roughly speaking, if we use a gigabyte of, of data, that has a carbon footprint about the same as driving a mile. It's not the end of the world, but it's a, it's a significant amount when you add it all up, given the amount of data that we use today, on our, particularly on our mobile phones. So I think this undoubtedly is one of the areas where, because electronics and the, the web and the cloud is so much more part of our lives now than it was even going back 10 years ago, let alone 20 years ago, it is certainly time that we started uh, looking very seriously at the implications of this and looking at ways that we can reduce that footprint this is one of those areas where I think we can do that without a great deal of detriment to our day-to-day -day lives.